Thank you for tuning in for the Chocolate City Sports Break. I'm your host, Sonny C. Today's game with the Buffalo Bills ended in a 43-21 to loss uh, for Washington in an absolute horrid display of defensive football. Um, I just got to give you the real. Uh, they, couldn't get, they couldn't get off on third down. Buffalo came down. They were in a third and 15 position. And if you say you have a good defense or or so-called elite defense, you got to get off the field in those situations. And um, they haven't all year, and it showed his ugly head today. Josh Allen was able to pick them apart. And it's this the same old thing. Uh, it's it's three quarterbacks now, so this is this is nothing new. This has been going on for roughly uh, if they don't get it together for a month, we haven't seen this, and it it's it's frustrating. The zone coverage is not working. I see a bunch of guys that's in positions like a zone defense, like on a basketball court, and I see a guy that's posted up in there for the opposite opposition comes in there, finds a little pocket, and the ball is right there. Everyone is so concerned about their assignments and lanes that no one is playing football. And maybe that's the problem. Maybe they need to break that zone and go into the man. And, and Jack Del Rio, who's relying on his front four to get to the quarterback, he's not getting any pressure. You know, shout out to Deron Payne, who was actually getting the push, but he was getting triple team most of the time. I think Cole Holcomb has something like 14, uh, 14 tackles, I believe. It's way too many tackles. If he's tackling people four, 14 times, I mean, they're moving the chains. Um, Chase Young, what, two tackles, maybe three? If he got that. Chase Young is speed rushing. is just not, he's not getting around the corner. The, 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 the two tackles on each side are just, they're just able to dance him away from the play. I mean, he, they, he's coming with the same technique, same move, and they're just dancing him off to the side. He's not bending the corner. He's not getting low. He's not spinning. He's not, I don't know why we're not running any stunts. It's um, it's not good. The defense is, is, is right now, it's terrible. And, you know, Buffalo was probably, you know, you wasn't on the same level as Buffalo, but not right now, Buffalo was your least or, or tier lower than what's to come. And this was supposed to be a measuring stick. We fell miserably. And our linebacker play has to be better. And I, I, it's like a, a drum, it's just like a, a running faucet. At this point, Cole Beasley was just, I mean, we're not, nobody's keying in. Our, our slot coverage is bad. Our safeties are either hesitating and then they're guessing wrong. But for the most part, we're, we're just not playing great on defense. We're not playing well. We're not playing well as a unit. And it's, we're going to have to look ourselves in the mirror and all those cliches you want to throw out there. But something has to be done. We're three games in. I mean, it's not about being panicky. It's about what is really going on. And I've seen three or four people that should be benched. I mean, Bostic. I don't know. I mean, I know he's he's vital to call the defense and line someone up. I guess you had to have a veteran there for right now. And if, if Jamin Davis is not able to handle all that, but man, we have to, we have to find some type of alternative. And uh, not to mention Kendall Fuller. I mean, what happened to his game? He's a step behind every vital you know, fourth down, third down, you know, inside coverage. It's just, it, it can't continue to go on. It, something has to be done. 
I know Ron Rivera, he hears all the play calls. I mean, I mean, we have to do press coverage. We, I mean, I just can't. We just we're, Jack Del Rio was a step off the whole game. He was off balance. It was um, the guy Bowl, Babel, whatever the offensive coordinator for Buffalo. He was just he had him. You know, he had him. He was one step ahead the whole game. Let's be honest with it. He was our coach. Every time we try to do a blitz or, or try to do adjust something, they do come back with the perfect play, and it was all game long. So something has to be done. You know, adjustments, you would thought you would have some adjustments in the second half. When we got the ball back with about, I guess, a minute or two, minute or so, and some change left in the first half, you know, I was telling myself we need some points. Well, it's three, three points. We need some points. Buffalo gets the ball with 36 seconds left and get down and get a field goal. I mean, that, I mean, that right there was just telling. I said, well, that's, I, I kind of knew right there. It was over with. For them to give up those, the way, the, amount they, the way they did it was just so methodical. So, I don't even, you know, this, I, I got this game out of my system already. I mean, the second half, I just knew. I mean, was, we could talk about Taylor Heineke. I thought he played. He was heroic at times. He was trying to do too much at other times. You do see the limitations that he has as far as his arm talent. Uh, a lot of these throws to the uh, these hash mark throws. Taylor Haneke was uh, decided just wanted to kind of sit in that that pocket and kind of wait and wait when he didn't get the first second reads. He he just wouldn't take off or third. He was looking for that third read and just trying to make something happen. And then he was making mistakes and he threw uh, a few interceptions and I think he had one or two call back. But um, for the most part, I thought he played well. You know, other than that, he was our only spark plug. At one point, I was saying, you know, he's the best. He's our best offensive player. He's our best player on the team right now. I mean, but he's competing. But he has to get smarter than that. Um, he crossed the uh, line of scrimmage on one play where he probably should have ran the ball. But, you know, he's trying to make he's trying to make things happen. I, I can't fault a guy who's actually trying to make things happen. But at the same time, you're not going to be able to get it all back on one play. I mean, we, we get down 21 nothing in a blink of an eye. Gibby gets a screen, and that's another thing. We didn't throw enough screen screen passes to our running backs for me. I mean, that's that's a thing, Scott Turner. For aggressive defense like this, um, the screens probably would have came in big time today, but we chose a different route. Uh, of course, we would like to run the ball more, but when you're down 21 nothing, I mean, what can you do? So, you know, these offensive coordinators, they like to, they like to throw the ball around, and that's the NFL. So we just – Seem, I mean, you know, the defense is just on the field way too long. They can't get off the field. That's the problem. They just can't get off the field. And then when the offense get on the field, we don't have any rhythm. They're not putting together drives. They're not moving the chains. And we had one fumble with uh, Logan Thomas trying to get some extra yards, and the guy made a great play for Buffalo that punched the ball out. Close call with his knee simultaneously kind of at the same time, but the call was the call. It was a fumble. I knew it wasn't going to get overthrown. Uh, overturned, but um, it's a tough loss. But uh, I I didn't like the way we played, so I I can deal with the loss uh, in Buffalo at this particular time of the year in the third game of the season. But I cannot deal with the way we are playing. Um, you know, <laughs> we are all sides a, a call away from being zero and three, and that's just the reality. You know, but uh, our defense, you know, at this point now, our offense, we had to go into a mode where we might just have to rely on our offense to score about 35 points a game. I mean, we just we, we might as well go in with the mentality we're just going to have to be in the shootout because until our defense can catch up, um, you know, everything through training camp was that, you know, was on point. Of course, all the chatter about, you know, sack records and this, that, and the other. Look, I just, I'll be happy with just a sound game. And yes, we did not get any sacks today at all. So enough with the sack record. Let's, let's, let's try to play as a team. Let's, let's get our heads in the playbook, man. But this schematically, I think we need to change up. I think we need to go, you know, right now, a whole different scheme as far as defense, you know, get out of this, 
zone coverage that's killing us, or we need to find some players who can actually run the run the defense and do do what it's supposed to be doing. Because this ain't it. So it's not it at all. So that's just my spiel. I'll be back um, to wrap things up probably tomorrow on Misery Monday. But um, take care. Have a good evening. Mm-hmm.